Hey guys, it's Marie here. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. I have a project here for the Scrapbook Nerd online shop and blog, and I'm going to be working in my Simple Stories Traveler's Notebook here today. I'm going to be working with this fairly small photograph, and I'm going to be working with the Twilight Collection from One Canoe 2. This was a release at Creativation this year, and it is just a really gorgeous collection. I really love it. And you can see here that I'm starting out here to work with a six by six pad. I can't emphasize enough how much I love having a six by six pad for a collection. It's definitely, um, for me, the most important part of a collection because there's just so much use that I can get out of a six by six pad. So whether it's matting photographs or using these little cut aparts here that you can see me cutting up from one of the sheets, um, I can use these uh, papers for cards, whatever. There's just so many things that you can use a six by six for. So I really love that. And I've matted my little photograph here in a piece of the navy paper. I'm going to use some of those little pieces to layer behind my photograph here. And then I'm just going to start to go in and use little bits and pieces of the collection to embellish my layout. Now I'm going to use one of the rub-ons and these are just so gorgeous. They're a really pretty shiny gold and I'm going to place this one strip just below my photograph here. Now as you can see the layout is going to have the photograph and some embellishments on the left and on the right side of my layout I'm going to include the journaling so I'm going to use some of the cardstock stickers from the collection and I'm going to start off here by just embellishing the photo to the left a little bit here. This piece here is one of the die cuts from the die cut pack and I've just popped that up on a little bit of adhesive, a foam adhesive to give it a little more dimension. And now you can just see that I'm just going to town with those cardstock stickers, doing a few little heart sprinkles here and there. And I really wanted to use the stamp collection or stamp set from this collection as well. And I will uh, just grab those now and I'm going to use those pretty quick. Now I'm going to use one of the four by three cut aparts for the right side of the layout. And I'm going to use that to help me out with some hidden journaling. I'm going to use some of the washi tape from the collection as well just to adhere that piece down. I want it to be a flap that just uh, opens and closes to reveal the hidden journaling behind it. So you'll just see me fuss with that uh, washi tape here a little bit and just make sure that it's about the right length so that that flap will open and close properly. And then I'll do the journaling off camera here, but I'll show it to you here. Um, pretty quick so that you can see how that hidden journaling piece works for this layout. I really love the size and format of a traveler's notebook. I just find that the layouts come together so quickly and I think I've said this before but I think it's really ironic. I end up doing quite a bit more journaling oftentimes in my little traveler's notebook. It tends to be more of a journal um, than about just the photograph or the, the de designing of the layout or whatever. Um, I think it just, you know, it just lends itself to that more maybe. And um, I really like taking the time to just do some really meaningful journaling in the TN. So this is the gold stamp pad that's part of the Twilight collection as well. And I think you just saw me there uh, I'm just conditioning these stamps a little bit because this is the first time I've used them. So I just take my eraser and go over top of the stamp a little bit just so that it stamps out more evenly. And that's just a good thing to do when you have these photopolymer stamps and they're brand new like this. I'm going to use some Distress Oxide ink here to stamp with as well. That ink is great for stamping sentiments. It's quite a bit better than the Distress ink is. It's a lot more opaque and it does just stamp sentiment so nicely. So I'm going to use the faded jeans color here for the word blessed on the right side. And that color of ink just matches up so nicely with the blue that's in the color palette of the Twilight collection. So you can just see now that I've got a sentiment or a word at the top of each of the sides 
And I don't think I've added the journaling behind that journaling card yet or the four by three card, but I will here pretty soon. So I'm just going to use that roller date stamp for a little sentiment on the left side there as well. Now you can see that I've added the journaling. I've added a few more of those cardstock stickers to the right side, and I'm going to take and tear a piece of the washi tape and just add that to the bottom of the page as well as another little piece of the orange washi tape down there as well. You know, this is just about it for this layout. It's pretty much done and I really like how this turned out. You can find a bunch of Traveler's Notebook products over in the Scrapbook Nerd online shop and I will leave a link in the description box below so that you can head over there and check that out if you would like to see some of those products in the shop. Thanks so much guys for stopping by my channel today. I really appreciate it. To all my subscribers who've been around for a long time, thank you, thank you so much for your continued support. And to all of my new subscribers, welcome and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to leave me a comment if you have any questions or there's anything that you'd like to know about Traveler's Notebooks and this format. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have and have an amazing day and I'll see you another time. Bye-bye.